Okay, D. This is cool. This is a new study. Okay, this is going to cause some conversations within friends groups right here. All right. So there's a new study out that says women have more BFFs than men. Okay. All right. It's interesting. It's coming out of the Journal of Adaptive Human Behavior and Psychology. There you go. 260 participants involved. 85% of the men said they have a best friend. 98% of women okay. said that they have a best friend. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Men were more likely to have a woman as a best friend as opposed to the opposite way around, which I thought would be the other way around. But how does that work? Because it should be the same number of people. If you have an opposite best friend, that best friend will also say, I also have, right? You would think, but maybe uh, that, they don't feel don't the same it. way as you, oh, as I see you being the best saying. friend. Yeah, I'll be like, Dina's my best friend, and Dina's like, nah, Mel's my best friend. <laughs> it's like, funny oh, because wait. there's those films, they call them the bromance movies. So right. you th they're, and they're based mm. on the kinship between guys. So is it saying that relationships between guys are maybe a little bit more superficial as opposed to that deep Thelma and Louise ride or die for life? No, I think it depends on who you ask, I guess, and what your friend circle is kind of like. But I think guys, emotions-wise, tend to, you know, stereotypically don't share as much in that mm. sense, right? So there is that whole, like, you know, uh, guys don't open up their feelings as much to each other. It's surface. So they may do that with, I guess, for some guys, uh, to a female friend mm. and talk about their relationship issues or family issues or something like that, as they would with, with a guy that they watched sports with or just go to the bar with or whatever it is. Do you have both? I have both. So have best both, friends yeah. that are both male and female. And you could totally have a platonic, like people are like, oh, please, mm. you can't really, yes, you can. Sometimes it goes bad, I get that. But you know I... the difference when it's totally like brother, sister vibes. Uh, here's, oh, D. Come on. We've been arguing a lot this morning, I know, debating. We We've been on the opposite side of things, which normally is not, but okay. Come I on. don't think, yes, you can. I think it's rare and it's very okay. rare because at some point someone liked the other person really? and was like okay I'm gonna suppress my feelings because this is the friendship but when I get my chance ooh, I'm gonna take it <laughs> I'm gonna take it really mm -hmm. I find the opposite growing up in my 20s I had way more guy friends of than girlfriends it was just harder to relate they all had a crush on you no, yes. it was zero of that. D I promise you it was not any of that. It was me helping them. Mm -hmm. It was me helping them like go through whatever dating courtship woes they went through. And it was never, ever for either of us, we'd be grossed out. Mm. Trust me. Again, I think it's rare. I think it's, it's, it's possible, but I think it's rare. It's I think rare. at some it's point, somebody like the other person and maybe suppresses that and is like, okay, I'm over it. I'm done with it. I think it's rare to find a best friend, period. Like, regardless of if I think it's you amazing know, male, if you do. female, yeah. right? That someone that doesn't judge you or anything, any of that is just there yeah. for you no matter what. 